Hi everyone, I'm Salman from the digital marketing team at Emphasis. And today we're going to talk about a popular biometric device that's used across several industries. For that, we have one of our experienced engineers with us today, uh, Mr. Toshik. So Toshik, hi, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you've been doing here at Emphasis? Uh, so I'm working as a business automation engineer. Um, I'm working here for quite some time now. Yeah. And I usually focus on identity management solutions, which includes obviously biometric hardware and biometric matching systems and the platform. Okay. Where the, platform. the interface. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're going to dive into it a little bit later today. So, let's start it off. Uh, what kind of device are we looking at today? Uh, so today we'll be looking at SecuGen Hamster Pro 20. Uh, it's a USB fingerprint device. Like uh, you literally have it right oh, now yeah. with me. We have it with us. Yeah. 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 So it's, uh, if you can see, it's very um, small, compact, mm -hmm. and very lightweight, mm -hmm. and it's very handy. And it uses the industry's most rugged and advanced optical sensor using fingerprint patent technology. That's great. Uh, so, uh, what's the most common use case of this device? I mean, which industries use it or, you know, uh, in which kind of application it's used it? Um, I would say workforce management, mm -hmm. um, for example, time clock applications, okay. um, employees come into their workplace, um, mm -hmm. punch in, and the same thing happens in punch outs. And this punch in and punch out times mm -hmm. are basically rush hours where, um, employees have to, um, where, there, there are for um, consecutive scan performed. Mm -hmm. So in the same scenario, if we talk about other different fingerprint scanners, we would need to wipe out the surface after five to six scans. Yeah. Um, versus Secugen, where you can perform um, very good scans, even if you use it for a long time. It sounds like a heavy duty device. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can this device be used for any other, you know, applications other than workforce management? Yeah, you can. Like, you can literally use it with mm -hmm. any kind of identity management solution you want. If you are using our platform, that is Intosys EGOF platform, obviously okay. you can use uh, the Secugen Hamster Pro 20 with any kind of application. Oh, really? So, uh, why don't you show us a quick demo if you can? Let me just share my screen. Sure. Mm, are you able to see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so basically this is the Emphasis EGOF platform mm -hmm. where I have built multiple applications or variety of applications just to show you um, how robust this application or this platform is, mm -hmm. how dynamic it is. You can build any kind of solution you want, any customized solution. Okay. For example, um, if you look at the screen, we have pension management mm -hmm. system here. We have water management system, yeah. medical EHR, mm -hmm. vaccine registration, death registration, child immunization, and we can go on. Like We can build hundreds of applications. Basically any kind of application. Any kind of application. Like if I, if I want to show you how we do that, Mm -hmm. um let us say uh, so if you can see mm -hmm. uh, my camera i will be connecting this device right now mm -hmm. and we'll be using it with tension management system okay, okay. yeah okay <clears throat> so let's say i want to um register a pensioner using mm -hmm. my fingers so okay so let's try to add my thumb prints for mm. the fourth uh, person Carmen okay okay so I'll be using my thumbs mm. let's select the thumb yeah left thumb first then the right thumb yeah. 
So if you see that this, the system restricted me to use my thumbprint. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the biometric ID, that is my thumbprints, is mm -hmm. already attached to a record. So this, the system uh, literally blocked me from um, attaching my fingerprint with another new record because oh, it's already it identified that it, there is a record with this fingerprint. So if I view the record, we can see that, okay, Dorothy, Dorothy W. Knight, I have my thumbprints um, tagged along with this record. So, okay, yeah. So, it's yeah, basically exactly. showing you that uh, we cannot, you know, create duplicates. No, we cannot. We That's cannot. Great. So, let's say if I want to show you how register uh, registration is performed, let's say let's select a finger, maybe pinky, pinky fingers, yeah. which I didn't use. Or so I'm using my pinky finger. You can look at the camera as well, where I'm scanning and also see the screen. Yeah. So I'm not providing a, yeah. Okay, let's submit. And you will see a response that the yeah. ID and associated biometric data added. So like if you have, for example, if you have a thousand of records here and you want to find your record, using okay. biometrics you can mm -hmm. do a one is to end search by biometric search here yeah so let's say i want to look for carmen right i used my pinky for carmen yeah yeah so see uh it, it literally pulls up the record i have used and the best part of this platform is mm -hmm. you can change the entire workflow of the app on the go. You don't need to go through um, further development cycles if you are talking about other, other traditional mm -hmm. softwares or biometric softwares. Um, we just use drag and drop editors, custom workflows, automations okay. and whatnot. So if I if I just give you a brief hmm. demo of the pensioner app, so no matter what change you have in this platform, it reflects in both web application and mobile application. So, so if you go to Play Store is, or app, yeah, sorry for cutting. So our app can be our platform is using both the mobile side and the web side exactly exactly that's great like it reflects like no matter what changes you make in the design side it reflects in both web application and also the mobile application you don't need to go um uh, to their platform separately and make the changes you make the changes in one platform in one place and it reflects in both the uh, both the um uis so for example if you look at the date of birth we have used a date field here. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if there is a new requirement, like, hey, um, the, I want the users to manually input their date of birth, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, you can, I can just uh, use a text field here. And let's say we give this a name, DOB, yep. and click save. And this will be reflected in the application. Now we have like, we can design our app as we please. Like we can change the themes, um, the logos, the icons. So we can both uh, do it for both web and uh, mobile side as well. So if you see that uh, it's, it's red, the theme is red. We can just literally change the theme to any theme we would like. Let's say we would choose green, so just select green and it, it's automatically saved like if i want to um add the have the menu on the top or maybe on the left you can change that like it's it's really flexible and you can customize uh, um like on the go you can you don't need to worry about development cycles and then testing phase and whatnot and you can add um biometric subscription keys here so basically it's no all in one type of thing. You just plug and play this platform. So uh, what I understood is that uh, 
our platform is also you know very useful for field workers right so let's say that yeah. law enforcement management people they're on the field like the patrol officers and all they can use their phones with our app right yeah exactly exactly that's great absolutely right also uh, can you just show us that uh, the dob you added you know can you show it us uh, whether it was implemented in the app sure yeah. so let's say pensioners so whenever we add one person it will first try to scan our fingers mm -hmm. so let's skip it let's skip the biometric capture if you see i uh the oh, field for wait. dob yeah so, yeah. yeah so okay. with along with other fields uh, i can add DOB that's great well. you that's just did it in seconds yeah, yeah. literally seconds yeah. I also noticed that you didn't use any line of code. Yeah, like uh, as I said, mm -hmm. you don't it's need to know any line of code. You just come in, um, implement what mm -hmm. implement your ideas for an application. Um, you just create an app on your own. You don't yes. need to. Um, you don't need to hire developers for that. Yeah, so basically it's like uh, any kind of identity management solution can be created using our platform and without writing a single line of code for it. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So sounds like you have a lot of experience regarding all of this. Uh, can you give us a quick example of, you know, how all of this can be changed? Like if an application we have created for a customer, it needed to be changed in the middle of the project at all. Yeah, so we had this project in the Middle East mm -hmm. where um, in the middle of the project, like they are like, we would want to use a different fingerprint scanner. We don't want to use okay. the old or uh, the fingerprint scanner, uh, what we selected initially okay. in the project. Mm -hmm. And they thought that, you know, it's it will be a hassle okay. because uh, I believe they had experience, previous experience mm -hmm. with um, other system integrators and it took a long time to develop or to make these changes but with our platform they just plugged in the new device and started using it like they were amazed uh, to see that that we don't need to um, you know go through lengthy um, SDK documents try mm -hmm. to connect it try to connect the biometric hardware with this platform and then with the biometric matching engine everything is set you just plug in the new device and start scanning That's right great. away right away it's great exactly yeah okay to summarize uh, to summarize the session uh, our ego platform can be used to create any kind of identity management solution with a single line of code right. and also can right. be used with any biometric solution whether it be software or hardware as well as third party systems yeah, yeah. so uh, what do you think uh, are the biggest benefits of such a platform for the customers? They can rapidly uh, develop and deploy solutions very rapidly. Mm -hmm. like, um, um, they experience shorter development cycles when they use our platform. Um, they can use um, fewer mm -hmm. resources as this is a no-code platform. Yeah. So fewer resources as in, um, you know, if, if, if you think about a traditional biometric uh software you need mm -hmm. to hire a bunch of engineers and tie all the components together yeah. but uh, hiring great engineers and spending a ton of money up front won't guarantee that a biometric project will be successful biometric is yeah. uh, sensitive and human oriented technology mm -hmm. um and it can take years to make it right mm -hmm. and 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 after all the hard work uh and months of development, uh, you finally release the first version of your product. But by then, the stakeholders, um, uh, you know, lose interest. And this mm -hmm. hurdles of biometric development process uh, kills mm -hmm. what could have been an amazing project. Mm -hmm. And with EGOV, like we can completely skip this whole scenario mm -hmm. and rapidly develop and deploy the solutions. Yeah, you just showed us how you added that DOB field and how it was implemented 
on the you know, app side website of the solution yeah like emphasis ego platform removes the cost mm. hassle and headache associated with development integration and ongoing maintenance unlike other biometric traditional biometric softwares yeah okay thanks a lot toshik for answering these questions and being such a wonderful guest uh, it was a pleasure to have you no with us today uh, that's all from Enjoy us tonight. Uh, stay tuned for more information on other content like this. And if you want to learn more about Impressus products and ego, uh, please contact us. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye.